Hey everybody, let's play some Crusader Kings, where we are currently trying as Count Werner of Argau to leave behind, well, to leave behind a start for the dynasty of House Habsburg that our heir Otto can then take as a base and expand the reach of the house of the dynasty far into the Holy Roman Empire. And uh, we're a bit of a... <clears throat> Uh, we have a bit of a scratchy voice, but we're also at a bit of a crossroads because Werner is already in poor health. Um, he's ailing. He doesn't have long for this world. He's 52. That's a, yeah, I'd say an average age at that time to to pass away. Um, so he can feel it coming. It, it won't be much longer. So I feel there's two routes we could take here. Um, we've been neglecting our connection to God and to our faith quite a bit throughout this campaign for land and for titles and glory and to grow the dynasty. So we could go ahead and, and try and connect, reconnect with God and uh, try and go on a pilgrimage and uh, find a physician, like try and extend our life a little bit and uh, try and get into a dialogue with God because we are nearing the end of our life and we're gonna meet him soon that is the one route the other one is that he's gonna grit his teeth and go in the most difficult war yet against duke gerhard of upper lorraine because we have the claim on the dutch yeah if we check it out he, he is currently in a war or not that's not his war um where is he can i see that yeah, he's somewhat up here. Um, He won't... That's his army, I think. Duchy of Meissen. And where's... Where is Seduk? He probably didn't even raise his army. Not really, no. Meissen can do that just fine. He has 1,700 men. With six knights. So that's... That's gonna be difficult. Um... But we're about even. If you check out his, like, if you press our claims, and we we'll go for the for the duchy, it's going to cost us. Oh, well, we can take a county, but yeah, we're going to go for the duchy. Um, it's going to cost us ninety prestige. Not really. We do have plenty of prestige, but we are about similar in strength. Uh, he is a bit stronger than we are, but we have a good, uh, better ally. So, yeah, that's that's the crossword we're at. Um, so I'm definitely going to wait until we increase our control in Zürich to maximum. Uh, so we do have our marshal available and he can increase our levies just a tad bit before we even approach this war. And there we go. Espionage lovers. While performing her duties as my spy master, Ingeltrude has uncovered a secret held by my wife, Countess Regelind. My very own wife has taken my nephew Rudolf as a lover. Aha. Uh -huh. That is... <laughs> oh, the outrage. How can we deal with this? How can we deal with this? Well, first of all, we got bigger problems than the cheating wife. I mean, we're, we have our sight... We are ambitious. We have our sight set on higher goals than the problems of a woman, so... Oh, yeah, so we're gonna put our marshal to the task of <coughs> organizing levies. Yeah, instead of train commanders, uh, organizing levies will grow our levies a little bit, and uh, will also grow the re reinforcement rate by twenty percent. And we get five percent more levies, which is quite relevant. Can I see here? Um, not really. Can I see it in the military? My armies... Not really. I was wondering if I could see here how my levies are. Can I click here? Nope. Not really. Okay. I wanted to see the, the influence of my marshal, but apparently that's not really that easily visible. Anyway, unfaithful. How could Countess Regalin share her bed with another? How could she betray me like that? Perhaps I'll never know her reasons, but there seems to be no doubt about her guilt. What are you? You're greedy, patient, and brave. 50. She's in fine health, though. 
So she probably just got sick of me. The world will know of your solid affair. So I don't care for rivalry with this guy. He has a claim on Burn. Uh, he has a not so relevant ally, but I don't really want to. I don't really want to uh, give him a chance to attack me. Okay, so we can beg her to let this folly end. <sighs> not really. What's this? Hooks and potential secrets. We could demand that she break it off. She will give in... Possible outcomes. She will give in to my demand. And they stop being lovers. She refuses. Loses opinion. Her whole family loses opinion. That's not really a concern to me. Um, and I imprison her. This is an act of tyranny, causing your subjects to lose 20 opinion. Well, I don't care. Well, do I do care, because it does affect my levy size. So... Hmm. Hmm. Usually I would say, break it off or there will be consequences. That would be, well, he's ambitious and just. Um, that would be the just thing to do. The problem is... We don't have that long anymore, and uh, we don't, we can't deal with this currently. So I'll just leave it be for now and uh, take the take the hook on her, and maybe use that to imprison her. Yeah, I won't go. I won't sink that low that she will cheat on me and I'm begging her. That that won't happen. Um, and exposing it to the world doesn't really help anybody. It just so yeah, it's between. Demanding the break off and needing time to think, and I just need time to think because um, I do have my sights set on bigger tasks. So we're currently waiting for the levy to to raise up a bit, and for him to maybe declare war. Maybe for him to declare war. He's allied to Bavaria and Upper Lorraine. Okay, and he's yeah, he's an attacking war, easily winning that. So. And we do have no way. I mean, we can blackmail, but whatever. Doesn't help us. Mm -hmm. Rest for the weary. Sweaty and tired and need of food. A long day of training with the troops is coming to an end. As we search for a place to camp, we spot an old and abandoned castle in the distance. Quietly considering, I declare. That is where we'll make our camp tonight. The sun is setting, and with every step towards the ruin, it looks more ominous. Before long, the soldiers are whispering about ghosts. Hmm. Heightened soldier morale? Or we could venture in there. Ah, let's go in there. I mean, I'm really curious what can happen. Searching for the unknown. Darkness, dampness and desolation reign inside the castle and all traces of life are gone. Peering up decaying stairs, I spot what might be the remnants of a lush tapestries and old paintings. Looking down spiraling steps, I see only darkness reaching for reaching far down into the ground underneath the castle. Okay, so we gain money between twenty-five and eighty-five. We go down, we could either become brave. Or gain some dread. Um, Pooh, that's a difficult decision. We could use money to fuel our war chest, because we might need mercenaries if we're gonna go to war. But I'm also very, very curious what's down there. But I think the the yeah. I think we'll go for that one. We gained 25. That's okay. Not the greatest outcome, but I think we'll we'll take it safe. We're an old man. We're sick. Um, we do need money for the upcoming war. And if we check out the mercenaries, uh, there are some available. 
but they are rather expensive. Jesus Christ. Ooh, those are expensive. Might be worth creating a men at arms regiment, rather. Yeah, I think we'll go for that. I think we'll start out with bowmen. Um, just use that. It will cost us um, monthly and the initial price. And we'll take a, a moment for them to reach their full strength. But if we're going to fight this war, and it seems like I, in my mind, already decided on it. <laughs> uh, we're going to need every man. How is he at... He has 1769, even though his levies are only 1655. Whatever. Okay, we got a new perk. We are strategist already. We get... Defender advantage, don't really need that. We get the hard rule, dread gain, siege progress against revolts. And the threshold for military power goes higher. Mm. We gain extra prowess. Don't think we're... that doesn't make sense. Um, I mean, we're an old man in poor health. So I don't... I would love the extra, like prowess to lead our armies, but I don't think we're going to do that. We're just going to go for the hard rule. Um, I can't have any distractions if we're going to do this last quest for glory. And it doesn't make sense that at 52 we're suddenly going to pick up some skill with a sword, right? So I'm not going to try and lawyer my way out of that situation. Okay, we're at 1500. We can go up to seven, 1700. English would have find, finished the find secret tasks. Um, yeah, let's not waste any more time. Um, we're gonna go with... Uh, not with the court, jeez. Um, we're gonna go with disrupt schemes against us. Like I say, we don't need distractions at this point. Well, let's see, we got hooks and secrets. Um, where is... My dear wife. We can blackmail her for a hook. So we'll definitely do that. Worst that can happen is... Okay, so now we got a strong hook on her. And what can we do with that? We could send her... That would actually be... Mm, that would actually make sense that we'll ask her to take the vows. She'll go to a church, ah, not church, monastery or whatever they're called, and uh, live out her last days there without ever taking a man to bed again. But for some reason we can't ask it. I can't really see why. Join a holy order or clergy? Will not accept. There's no chance because of her personality. So? Ah, she's married. Okay, so we need to divorce her first. Request divorce, she won't accept, because it does take piety, which we desperately lack. Okay, so the only thing we can do is imprison her. And uh, we'll keep that hook to be able to do that in case she will start up some trouble. Okay, I think we are about... Maybe we'll wait another month. And... Uh, Oh, yeah. Mayor is coming around, warming up to us. That's very good. Um, we are almost done with our claim on St. Gallen. And the Duke doesn't have money. That's good. He has levies. And he has a couple. He has 300 pikemen. Wow. Okay, that's how he can get over his limit. Hmm, how do we counter pikemen, actually? Let's see, light footman. Oop, where did the tooltip go? Light footman. Um, can I see what they counter? Heavy infantry, okay. Armored footman. They counter spearmen. Light cavalry, heavy cavalry. So, we could take in a couple... Armored footman. 
Yeah, but I don't think I wanna. Um, I wanna be that heavy on the maintenance cost already. Uh, 0 0.6. Um, yeah, we could increase our Bowman regiment, but don't care much for it. Okay, so now. Okay, well, there goes that one. Um, <laughs> he is now allied to Ottokar of Steiermark, who is currently busy. I mean, he's attacking the Emperor. Um, looks a rather even war. But, yeah. I trained the game. Gained the trade ill. Um, let's search for physicians, actually. Trade ill is a bit... Ooh, minus four prowess, fertility, severe health penalty. Yeah, we'll send for a physician and check. But I don't have high hopes. I just wasn't meant to be. Okay, you are... Uh, not really a physician. What? Alessandra seems enthusiastic, if nothing else. She has six learning. She's a gray eminence, 32. Shrewd. She's stuttering now. Hmm. And you are... 10 learning, I mean, that's not really... Oof. Both failed to impress me, honestly. Yeah, that's not really... Uh... Oops, that's not really worth my time. Let's see. Um, we could just appoint somebody. Okay, we can start our own search, so let's let's do that. I thought we could just appoint a physician. Why can't I do that? Okay, uh, to the implacable Werner, I have blah blah blah. We can press a claim, so we'll do that. And now... Really? We get the same two losers? Okay then. That So much for the court physician. So maybe we can uh, just get the county of St. Gallen under our... Yeah, you cannot afford the cost of this war. Uh, okay. It will cost me a hundred piety. Well, there's a solution for that problem. We can ask the Pope, seek indulgence, pay a hundred money, a hundred money, <laughs> a hundred gold for a hundred piety. So let's do that because I do want St. Gallen under my belt. Thank you for the wisdom of that. Now, good sir, can we declare a war now? You. So let's do that. Raise the troops. And uh, let's march straight in there. Um, we're not going to lead the army ourselves. Uh, our son's actually gonna get his first battle experience. That should be an easy victory. I mean, they do have 700 men, so they can put up a fight. But also not really. We can get to them in time. No, we can't. But I'm not gonna change them in the hills. I mean, if they want to sit in the hills there and, and wait, that's fine by me. We're just gonna camp on both of their territories. I don't see that we got they don't have any allies, so that should be rather simple, right? Ah, yeah, it's too bad. Oh! As I walked this morning, I saw... What? Okay. As I walked this morning, I saw rays of sunshine falling through... What happened? Falling through my window. It took me a moment to realize I had slept soundly for the first time in weeks. I didn't wake up coughing once. And I'm well again. That's a... Wow! That's a big surprise. I just took in the air to say that it's probably going to be the last war for our glorious leader, Count Werner of Argau, um, because he just can't make it to another one and the 
Duke of Upper Lorraine was always one step ahead of us. But defending, you don't say. That looks interesting. Um, but then he lost the trade ill, so maybe, 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 maybe we do have another year or two in us, and we could go for that attack on. Okay, there we go. Um, so we did count counter we did capture the bishop who's uh, ruling uh, these here lands so that means we can just press demands actually hang on um on my court ecstatic peasantry the peasants of the county of zurich are in good mood the harvest is bountiful the roads are safe and the village elders are telling nonsensical stories of cows producing honey laden milk and geese laying gold eggs the peasants are praising me for their fortune and have sent a delegation carrying gifts we'll get 20. intriguing send the soldiers to collect more gifts um, we do get 24 dread county control will go down ah that doesn't seem um, they need a surplus more than I do, so we get more opinion and development growth. No, I think we'll just graciously accept, um, because sending the soldiers there to collect more gift... Yeah. Ah, that's nice. Okay. Oh, that's nice. I was about to say that wasn't a just thing to do, so we don't do it. But actually, the game will give you a severe penalty if you act against your character's uh, traits. That is quite cool. And 75 stress is nothing to sneeze at. That's going to bring us to the next level. And a little over. So thank you for the gift. It's a nice event. Uh, what I really wanted to do is check out my dear prisoners and friends. Uh, let's see. Uh, he's quite useless. Lowborn. Yeah, honestly, that's just... Um, we could recruit him to court, but I don't see the benefit of that. Don't need conversion. Yeah, just go. I don't need you. Princess Bishop Adelheid. We could get 25 for you. And we could get 50 for you. Uh, well, let's have him pay the 25 first. Um, send that demand. And then we'll enforce the demand here. Ah, he's already considering a proposal. Okay. Can you consider that, please? Pay me the money. Thank you. And now, to gain your own freedom, you'll give me your county. Thank you, sir. And disband the troops. Goodbye. Oops. Okido. So now we got the five counties we can control. Um, they're all at full control, actually. That's quite impressive. I'm being raided. Hey, what? Raiders from Duke Svetibar, Svetibor are in your territory. Oh, it's in the Holy Roman Empire in general. Okay. I was wondering, like, yeah, the whole border here is Raiders. Uh, Pomerania, Veletia, Prussia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are going to be a problem. Uh, what the hell just happened? Hungary just ate Poland? Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Hungary became a problem quite fast. Look at that. 6,700 men. And they just gobbled up Poland. Wow, wow, wow. And they do have a strong leader in King Laszlo. He's still young. He's a great leader in uh, a brilliant strategist. Miracle worker. And he's quite the fighter himself. Honest, arrogant, just, and diligent. Wow, wow, wow. The only thing that's holding them back is they only have one heir. 
so far though but i mean it's a young couple still wow that is impressive so hungary is really the force to be to reckon with huh anyway uh, the mayor got swayed and that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to... Yeah, Marshall, you're gonna raise levies. We'll do this, we need some piety. Okay, let's check out if we got any luck in here. He's defending against Duke Gottfried. And so far he's losing the war a little bit, though I can't really see why. He does have his two allies in there. Let's see, um, where was I? Duchy of Upper Lorraine. He's being raided, but that's the Empire, that doesn't count. He has Duke Otto of Meissen, who's helping him. He's in the same war, has his own allies being raided, but he doesn't have any other problems. And he has the Duke Ottokar of Steiermark, who is in a war. He's attacking Emperor Heinrich. Heinrich, rather, and he's helping defend. So I think that's a really opportune moment. We do have 2,000 men. I think when, if not now, should we press for that for that duchy title? What do you guys think? I think that's the perfect moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, we'll, we'll just take a quick look around. Um, maybe we can recruit a couple more Knights. Oh, okay. That's available in 1984. We do have the five we can bring in there, though. Christopher, Martin, Rutger, Bernard, and Leopold. So we do have a couple competent knights. We do have a full army. We do have a little bit of cash. And the Duchy of Lorraine is currently busy. And their allies are busy. So, uh, yeah, that's that's going to be the goal for the next episode, guys. Um, sorry for all the hemming and hawing, but it's quite a difficult decision. Because if I attack here and I fail, it's going to probably have devastating effects. Because um, we'll be left weak and we just newly conquered this territory. And even if we win this war, we still need some strength. Because they're not going to like being under our rule. So, yeah, it, it's quite a delicate decision to make. And I don't want to make it lightly. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Uh, next episode, we're going to make that decision. And we're going to fight Apollo Rain and try and claim that duchy to leave it for our heir and start House Habsburg rise in the Empire. You guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you around for the next episode.